Hey everybody, Retro Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're gonna unbox, demo, and review this Ace Magic laptop right here. This Ace Magic laptop is the AX16 Pro AMD Ryzen 7 laptop. So inside here, we have some really incredible specs. We have the AMD Ryzen 7 5700U processor. That's eight cores, 16 threads with speeds of up to 4.3 gigahertz. This offers 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, along with a 512 gigabyte NVMe M2 SSD installed within running Windows 11. So definitely looks like an interesting setup. We're going to unbox this, take a look at the layout and design, see what this offers us, and then do a full performance test on here to see where this pans out in terms of gaming performance. Let's dive into it and get started. All right, All right so here's our power supply cable, two-part power supply. Type-C connection to bring over to the laptop. Set that aside for right now. Here we have our user manual, again, for the AX16 Pro. So let's thumb through here really quickly, see what this offers us. So we've got this in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different languages. It walks through what the um, contents are here. Gives us a list of all the specs. And it shows us literally every single port on here. So it does walk through everything pretty uh, thoroughly on here. All right, let's jump in here and see the actual laptop. All right, so this is definitely a good sized laptop. Got some decent weight to it. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, guys, so here's our laptop right here. We have low profile keys throughout this. Very, very responsive keys. They do seem to be high quality. Power button up there in the top right corner. Large mouse pad right here with the left and right click function built in. We have our speakers located on the sides down here. You see them down here. Now we have some ports on this side. We have our micro SD card slot, which I love the fact that that is a possibility here, both for gaming and just regular uh, usage in general. We have a USB port, USB 3 port, headphone jack over here. We're gonna flip this around to the other side where we have some additional ports to observe. We have a uh, power supply cable connection right here. This is gonna be our type C power supply cable. We have our USB 3 port, HDMI cable, another type C port right here. And then we have our LED lights for our battery as well as the power function. So looks to be laid out very nicely. Um, definitely some good port options on here. I love the fact that we have the type C integrated into this, um, as well as we have what three full USB a ports. So, uh, if anything, I'd like to have some more USB ports, but we can always use an adapter to get more of those on hand. So we're going to actually power this on. I'm actually going to jump into gaming here because that's the main focus today to see how this would perform as a gaming laptop. So we're gonna jump into Botticera today as well as some uh, PC gaming on here and see what's possible. Oh. 
almost have that thing broken wide open. First up, two men in the backfield. Warner, the ball right in there. He's at the 30.
All right, guys, we just jumped out of the Ace Magic AX16 Pro laptop, and this had a phenomenal experience with gaming. So first, we jumped into Bodicera 38. I used an external SSD, which I connected over through USB 3 connection, and we just simply changed the boot order on the laptop, booted right up into that external SSD, where I had all of my retro games, game collections, and emulators waiting. We tested out literally everything that Botticera has to offer, with the exception of Xbox 360, just because I'm not a fan of Xbox 360 on pretty much anything Linux-based, just is not as good as using it on Windows, so I just avoided that you know, all together today, but everything else I tested out and this laptop handled everything that I threw at it. So we jumped into N64, we jumped into PlayStation 2, we jumped into GameCube, we jumped into Wii U, Nintendo Switch, PS3 even, and this handled literally everything. Now there was some slight little lags in one of the PS3 games, the Sonic Racing game. It is a very tough one to emulate, but it did slow down at a few points there. Uh, just didn't feel like it was cruising at you know the regular speed that it should be. Uh, so there is a slight you know hiccup there. But I jumped into a bunch of other. PS3 games and everything else performed very well. You saw the NASCAR racing game and I try to stick to racing games because I find that those can be really challenging for PCs and laptops to handle. And you could see that it sailed through that. The experience was just as it would be on the original PS3 console. So it does depend on what game you're going to be jumping into for PS3 as to what the experience is going to be like. So a little bit hit or miss there, but everything else sales without any issues whatsoever with this laptop. So we also tried to kick it up a few notches. So we jumped out of Botticera, we went into Windows 11, and we tested out some AAA PC games. So we jumped into first Forza for Horizon, one of my favorite racing games of all time. And this just performed like a dream. It was perfect, no issues with lags or delays. And I recently reviewed a mini PC where I tried to jump into this title, and it just wasn't up to snuff. It just had some slight little lags. I was kind of all over the road steering because it did have intermittent lags. And intermittent lags are tough because you never know what's gonna happen. Uh, you can be just kind of sailing through the game without any issues, and then all of a sudden it just gets all out of whack. So we didn't have that issue today. Everything was perfect over there. So I tried to kick it up even more from there, and we jumped into Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite is a tough one to play on a laptop, on a mini PC. You have to have really good specs to be able to handle that game. It is a fairly recent game, so definitely very demanding. And I've reviewed a lot of mini PCs lately, and I've thrown that game into the mix a lot lately, and nothing has been able to handle that for like the last two or three videos that I've done where I've reviewed mini PCs. There's been significant screen tearing or lags, or it just won't even launch at all. So over here, perfect experience with Halo Infinite. It just cruised through it without a hitch. Great gaming experience. It was no different than playing on an Xbox Series X. So really a great laptop here with just tremendous capabilities for not only retro gaming, but modern day gaming as well. Now looking at the design of this, I love the screen. I love the quality here. I love how nice and compact everything is. And it's, and it's not the smallest uh, laptop by any means, but it is very thin. You can see how thin it is right here. I love the ports that are offered on here. If anything, um, one thing that I actually absolutely love though is the fact that we have the micro SD card slot on one side. Uh, we have the headphone jack, of course, but we also have a type C port on the side, which is becoming more and more popular over the last couple of years. Uh, if anything, I would say I would like to have access to more USB-A ports on here just because as a gamer, I'd like to bring in um, different things that use up a lot of the USB-A ports. But I can bring in an adapter and I can use, you know, different splitters and stuff like that. So it's certainly not a big deal. But, you know, if I was trying to nitpick here, I would say, give me some more ports on here. Give me maybe one more type C. Give me, you know, at least one more USB 3 port. Um, but other than that, I mean, and that's me being super picky here. Other than that, this has everything, you know, that you would need on here and more. It's really, really, really easy to take with you on the go. In fact, I'm going to be traveling in the next couple of days. And this is what I'm going to be taking with me now because I could do some gaming on the airplane. I mean, th that would be absolutely amazing. We have the um, headphone jack right there on the side. I can get my, I can use Bluetooth even for controllers, but if I wanted a wired controller, I can go ahead and do that. That's what I use today. Just, you know, cause I wasn't going to be far away from it. Um, but just tremendous capabilities here for gaming. And the price point here is not outrageous by any means. At the time of this video, they're asking for 509 for this. 
which I definitely think with when considering the specs, the portability to this, and just the overall quality, I think it's worth every bit of that. And I do want to address one other thing here. I did go through this and I made sure to do a malware and virus scan on here because yes, there's been some issues in the past with this brand. Uh, they did have some sort of a breach at one point in time. I went through everything with this actually on three different malware and virus scanners and I had no issues. There were no threats found, no, nothing of the sort. So I do want to address that because I know that is a concern for some people. No issues here whatsoever. Everything about this is working great. The drivers are great. I actually went on here and I was just using my uh, cloud-based video editing software on here for a couple hours today. Everything is super fast on here. And that's something that I need on a laptop or mini PC that I'm using for editing. I need something that's really quick. I need something where all the drivers are working properly because video editing on a cloud-based software like I use can be pretty demanding. So just sailed through that as well. Really high-end laptop right here. Definitely recommend it. I'm gonna put a link up here at the top of your screen as well as in the description of this video. Click over, get some additional information on this. If you're considering a laptop for gaming or just for regular usage, this is definitely a solid option. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this laptop. Let me know what you guys think about the gaming performance on here. That's gonna do it for today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me that you guys are still here supporting the channel. So thank you guys so much. If you enjoy the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube as I try to further grow the channel. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos right here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.